the way we like to, to think about this, the 2018 predictions are really uh, guideposts for things for people to look out for. If I'm a consumer, what I'm looking out for this year is we're coming off one of our most connected Christmases ever. In my own house, I got a, a connected coffee mug that has an app that allows you to change the heating settings for, to keep the coffee warm. So I'm reminded of how connected Christmas was. It, paying attention to privacy, paying attention to all the connected devices in the home and the potential for those devices to be compromised, to actually uh, deliver viruses into the home, that's a real issue. So security in the home with those connected devices is going to be a big issue for us in 2018. And I think that's only going to continue as we add more connected devices to the mix. Our house is becoming like a small business in many ways. And that on was a topic that came side. up in, in the last segment. Just to follow up on that really quick before we get to sure. the corporation side. So if you're aware of this, your home is becoming more connected with all the devices from the coffee mugs to maybe the Alexa enabled devices. What do you do as a consumer to keep yourself safe if you want to use this, if you want to connect your home? I think the first and most important thing you can do is be aware that these connected devices have risks. You should absolutely use them. There's a lot of great functionality, a lot of good reasons to use the connected devices. But do things, for example, like when you set up a new device, make sure you reset the password. Don't use the default password, as an example. Um, you should use security tools in your home to make sure that you're protecting against attacks that could happen. There's a lot of different ways you can protect yourself, but the most important thing to do is get educated. It's like any tool, any vehicle you would use in your home. You want to make sure you pay attention to safety first. So then jump into the biggest threats for corporations going into 2018. We had the WannaCry attacks last year. That certainly isn't out of the realm of possibility for that or an iteration to come in 2018. Yeah, we see, a, we see a evolution happening in ransomware as a good example of that. WannaCry was a, a mixture of ransomware and a worm technology, which um, you know, affected us on a, on a large scale across many different businesses, governments, et cetera. We see ransomware morphing and changing to go after physical infrastructure. You know, we see um, ransomware used to be about extorting money from people to, to you know, protect their or to unlock their sensitive data. We think ransomware is going to be increasingly used to try to disrupt operations and, and try to hold organizations uh, hostage uh, for the, the gain of the attacker. And so we see more of that happening. We see it moving across different industries. You've seen a lot of ransomware in the healthcare space but we see it moving into manufacturing and other spaces as well. Chris, good to see you. Outside of the airport, we bumped into each other right <laughs> ahead of Christmas, actually. Uh, I'm wondering Indeed. your take on this Intel chip flaw potentially affecting um, almost every computer uh, purchased in the last 10 years, but the fix needs to come at the operating system level. Is there anything consumers should or can do about that except wait for that update to come in the next few days and install it? Well, the first thing I'd say, John, is we're still learning a lot of the details uh, about this. Much of it isn't out there in the public domain, so I think there will be more to talk about and more to learn as the details become uh, public. Um, what I can say is it's a good example or a good uh, wake-up call for consumers as well as businesses that you've got to make sure there's security for all layers of the stack and that you're protecting yourself across different platforms. I can't stress that enough, right? I mean, you can't just focus on Windows, there's Linux, there's cloud platforms, there's a variety of different places where security matters. And that's one of the reasons why holistic security, security across the stack is truly important here. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.